13 FBI cars surround our cars so that we cannot run. There are a lot of agents getting down from these 13 cars, maybe two to three per car. They all are wearing a black color jacket which says FBI in white color. They, many of them have a walkie talkie, many of them have a gun in their hand. And they come and knock my door and says, and I draw the window down and they say, who's Sandeep Agarwal? I said, I'm Sandeep Agarwal. He said, Mr. Agarwal, we have an arrest warrant for you. दोस्तों डीप टॉक में आज आपका फिर से स्वागत है गाइस वेलकम टू डीप टॉक वन सेकेंड एंड हमेशा की तरह मैं बड़े इंटरेस्टिंग लोग लेके आता रहता हूं जो आपको इंस्पायर करें जो आपको मोटिवेट करें ट्रू स्टार्स ऑफ इंडिया जो हु आर एक्चुअली द ट्रू हीरोज फ्रॉम विच यू कैन लर्न अ लॉट यू कैन सी वो लोग भी इंसान है वो भी ह्यूमन है एंड दे हैव लॉट ऑफ लेसन फॉर यू बिकॉज मैं कितना ज्ञान बांटू यार आपको मेरे और भी अच्छे अच्छे दोस्त हैं लकीली जो आपको बहुत अच्छे बातें बता सकते हैं आई हैव अ ग्रेट फ्रेंड टूडे मोर देन अ गेस्ट एंड हिज नेम इज संदीप अग्रवाल एंड ही इज द फाउंडर ऑफ टू यूनिकॉर्नस एक नहीं या अब आप एक यूनिकॉर्न बनाते बनाते जिंदगी निकल जाती है इन्होंने दो खोली हैं वो उसके बारे में बात करेंगे द वन यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ इज ड्रूम विद ऑल इट्स स्कूल सोशल मीडिया स्टफ गोइंग ऑन इट्स द कार रीसेलिंग कंपनी लाइक अ यूज कार सेल कंपनी बट संदीप अग्रवाल की सबसे खास बात मैं आपको बताऊँ माई फर्स्ट गेस्ट इन डीप टॉक हुज गॉन टू जेल राइट वेलकम टू डीप टॉक थैंक यू चेतन दिस इज नॉट द जेल तो यू गॉन्ट टू जेल यस Like actual jail, actual jail, yes, and been with criminals, yes. Uh, now you guys know you have to hear this whole deep talk. You will learn a lot about entrepreneurship, about life, and everything. But कुछ खास ही guests लेके आए हैं. I don't know. मैं हमेशा संदीप अपना deep talk शुरू करता हूँ बचपन से. Right. बच्चा पैदा हुआ, so मैं वहाँ से story शुरू करता हूँ. बिल्कुल. But कई ऐसे cut point मिलते हैं life में कि you know you you don't have to start start in a linear manner. Right. You went to jail. Yes. In the USA. Yes. wrongly yes i must add yes. but you did go yes. and it did affect your career it it actually almost uh, finished my life i had to restart all over again okay now ab tak to aapko interest aayi hoga ki ye kya ho raha hai kya ho raha hai so wo jail wali kahani tak bhi hum jayenge sandeep but let's begin with your childhood kahan pe aapka janm hua वे वर यू बॉर्न कौन सा हॉस्पिटल था कौन सा शहर था वट डिड योर पेरेंट्स डू आपका घर कैसा था टेल मी टेल मी अबाउट लाइफ एब्सोलूटली सो चेतन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स माई प्लाइज टू बी हेयर एंड एब्सोलूटली दिस इज़ अ वेरी कॉजी प्लेस राधर दैन द जेल विच वी टॉक अबाउट सो यू नो आई एम आई वॉज बोर्न एंड रेज इन चंडीगढ़ माई फादर वर्क विद द गवर्नमेंट एंड ही वॉज अ इंजीनियर सिविल इंजीनियर एंड आई वॉज यू नो वी आर टू ब्रदर टू टू सिस्टर्स मैं सबसे छोटा हूँ और आई वॉज फोर ईयर ओल्ड तब मेरे डैडी का वो ही वर्क फॉर हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट तो चंडीगढ़ से पैदा होने के बाद भी उनकी ट्रांसफ़र होती गई अलग अलग सिटीज़ में बाय द टाइम मुझे लगता था एक सिटी में सेटल हो गए हैं तो उनकी ट्रांसफ़र ऑर्डर आ जाता था सिटीज़ वही हुए वेरी स्मॉल सिटीज़ आई नेवर हर्ड दैम अगेन लाइक फ्राम चंडीगढ़ स्ट्रेट अवे हमारी ट्रांसफ़र हुई एक प्लेस कॉल्ड घूला इट्स अ स्मॉल विलेज अदर दैन लिविंग देयर आई नेवर हर्ड इन लास्ट डेकेट्स फॉर दैट सिटी हाँ it city somewhere in haryana near punjab border so there my father was a first like guest guested officer i was 3 and 1/2 year old that's my early childhood memories to wahan par humko ek bada acha bada bada house mila aur wahan se matlab you know i that brought me closer to the nature to 26 january ko 15 august ko mere daddy ko bulaya jata tha for the flag unraveling but from a starting from a convent school in chandigarh मुझे अब प्राथमिक शिक्षा केंद्र में भेजा जाता था सो यू वेंट टू विलेज स्कूल आई वेंट टू आर नॉट ओनली आर विलेज स्कूल वी डिड नॉट हैव आ ईयर मार्क टॉयलेट इधर एंड इट वाज लाइक अ वेरी हार्ड कॉर वेयर वाज द टॉयलेट लाइक यू जस्ट गो बिहाइंड द बुश ओके लाइक लिटरली लाइक दैट सारे बच्चे जा रहे हैं हाँ जी सारे बच्चे जा रहे हैं सो इट तो आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज यू नो हिंदी मीडियम हाँ जी बिल्कुल हिंदी मीडियम और बिल्कुल विलेज वाला हाँ जी मतलब वो जैसे उन्होंने फ्लोर पे कोई वो यू नो सम कारपेट टाइप दे कॉल इट टाट सो वो बिछाए हुए हैं और बिल्कुल जैसे आप पिक्चर में देखते हैं बिल्कुल उस टाइप का माहौल था दिस डजेंट साउंड लाइक अ यूनिकॉर्न क्रिएटिंग बैकग्राउंड नहीं नहीं नॉट एट ऑल नॉट एट ऑल टेक ए बड़ा जाके टेक का ऑनर बनेगा यू नो लाइक बिल गेट्स आई नो वॉज बॉन्ट टू अ प्रीटी डिसेंट फैमिली इन द यू एस अपर मिडिल क्लास और रिच फैमिली ऑलमोस्ट 
बट ओके सो ये गाँव के स्कूल में आप पढ़ते थे एंड लाइक थिल हाउ लॉन्ग वर यू इन सच स्कूल आई वॉज इन दैट सच स्कूल फॉर एक्चुअली फॉर नेक्स्ट ऑलमोस्ट अंटिल माई आई वुड से अंटिल माई टेंथ ग्रेड टेंथ ग्रेड तो कैसी थी आपकी पर्सनैलिटी हिंदी बोलते थे यार दोस्त कैसे थे क्या लाइफ में आउटलुक क्या करना है ऑनेस्टली लाइक उधर मैं काफ़ी आई बिकेम लाइक आई लर्न बाइसिकल आफ्टर यू नो हैविंग ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी इंजरीज ऑन माई नीज एंड एवरी वेयर आई लर्न बाइसिकल यू नो आई कुड क्लाइंब ऑन एनी ट्री यू नो जम्प इन टू अ कनाल विच पास बाई दैट विलेज हम वो टायर ट्रक का टायर की ट्यूब में हवा भर के कूद जाते थे so all that thing so it, it you know in the hindsight i thought i thought it uh, i still think it was a beautiful you know that that uh, that that diversity in my background uh, you know like came very early but kaise us time ke aapke outlook kya tha life mein ki bade ho ke kya banenge abhi dekhiye dekhiye is time mein is time tak to honestly kya tha outlook mein matlab itna aisa kabhi socha hi nahi kya socha kya karenge ab bilkul nahi socha socha hi nahi socha hi nahi ha jo har roz aa raha hai jaise din waisa chal raha hai उसके बाद uh, मेरे डैडी की ट्रांसफर हुई इन अदर प्लेस विच यूड हैव हर्ड इज कॉल्ड कालका इट्स अ लास्ट सिटी बिफोर हिमाचल स्टार्ट्स ट्रेन एंड होती है वहाँ अगर आपको शिमला जाना है एब्सोलूटली एब्सोलूटली सो चंडीगढ़ के आ गई है वो बिल्कुल सो वी वेंट देयर सो वी मूव देयर और जैसे मूव करते हैं तो मेरे डैडी को जनरली काफ़ी बड़ा एक हाउस मिलता था तो टेम्परेली प्रीवियस ऑफिसर जिनकी उनको उन्होंने रिप्लेस करना था वो अभी तक मूव नहीं किए थे तो हमको टेम्परेली एक छोटा घर मिला बट उस वहाँ मूव करने के एक हफ्ते बाद ही उन्होंने अपनी उन ऑफिसर्स ने अपनी ट्रांसफ़र को स्टे ले लिया सो नाउ माई डैड इज़ पॉजिटिव टू चंडीगढ़ और हम उस घर में छोटे से घर में साथ में हैं एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी वेरी हॉस्टाइल एनवायरनमेंट क्योंकि हम एक ऑफिसर को रिप्लेस करने आए थे उन्होंने अपनी ट्रांसफ़र को ली एंड ऑल ऑफ सडन वी वी आर स्टिल स्टक इन दैट कॉल नहीं वेर तो आपके पापा को वहाँ भेज दिया उनको रिप्लेस करने लेकिन अगले ने कहा मैंने नहीं जाना हाँ जी हाँ जी और उन्होंने कोई अपने दोनों फिर क्या कर रहे हैं ऑफिस में वो सेम ऑफिस में नहीं थे मेरे डैडी को चंडीगढ़ भेज दिया गया अब आप वहाँ चले जाओ सर थोड़ी देर हाँ तो उसके बाद मेरे डैडी बेसिकली मंडे से फ्राइडे तक चंडीगढ़ रहते थे और फिर वापस आते थे वहाँ पर उनको लगा कि अभी घूला की भैया थोड़ा बढ़िया सिटी है तो इनको संदीप को किसी अच्छे स्कूल में भेजते हैं तो वहाँ पर एक इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल था तो वहाँ पर मुझे भेजा गया थर्ड डे टीचर ने मेरे डैडी को फ़ोन किया कि ये यहाँ पर बिल्कुल भी सर्वाइव नहीं कर सकते ही इज़ नॉट एट बिकॉज ही इज़ इज़ कम्प्लीटली रॉ लाइक हमें लाइक वी डू नॉट इवन नो विच ग्रेड टू पुट इन ये ऐसे कोई गांव का ऐसे ये गांव का कोई लड़का उठ के आ गया आ रहा है हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो उसके बाद वहाँ का जो मेन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल था वहाँ पर मुझे भेजा गया तो वहाँ पर मैंने कोई एक, एक साल ही निकाला बिकॉज मेरे डैडी को टेम्प्रेरी पोस्ट थी उसके बाद उनकी ट्रांसफ़र होगी एन अदर प्लेस इन हरियाणा कोल करनाल इट इट दिस इज़ आ फेयरली आई वुड से फेयरली डिसेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो दे आर ऑल्सो लाइक आई रिमेंबर देर वॉज इन फैक्ट देर कपल ऑफ कॉन्वेंट स्कूल एंड माई पेरेंट्स ऑलवेज हैड आर दिस गिल्टी दैट इफ़ यू हैड नॉट मूड संदीप फ्राम चंडीगढ़ यू नो ही वुड बी लाइक गोइंग टू दिस स्कूल सो दे ट्राइड वन बाई वन एवरी स्कूल एंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी स्कूल रिजेक्टेड मी तो वो कहते कि इंग्लिश आती थी आपको जो कैसे टेंथ के बाद मुझे उस नहीं अभी ये टेंथ से पहले की बात चल रही है अभी ये सिक्स सेवन्थ ग्रेड की बात चल रही है इंग्लिश बहुत कम आती थी रिलेटिव टू माय पीयर ग्रुप बड़ी कम आती थी एंड आई वाज वेरी शाई वेरी इंट्रोवर्ट बट आई वाज वेरी गुड इन स्पोर्ट्स तो एनी हाउ तो वहाँ से मैंने सिक्स और सेवन्थ किया फिर मेरे फादर की फिर से ट्रांसफ़र होगी इन अ प्लेस कॉल फ़तेहबाद विच इज़ इन हरियाणा नियर हिसार एंड इट वॉज इट इज़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाउ वॉट वॉज इज डूइंग की इतनी ट्रांसफ़र हुए जा रही है और वो भी ऐसे छोटी छोटी जगह है What was his job? He 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 actually he, he did uh, he worked with public works department. Achha, so PWD yes, तो हर जगह है yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so, yes, sir. So, अब हम चले जाते हैं उधर फतेहबाद इट वॉज नॉट अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाउ देयर अगेन देर वॉज लाइक मेन स्कूल आई वेंट देयर उधर काफ़ी मतलब बचपन में कैसा तो उधर आई आई प्लेड लाइक लॉट ऑफ ट्रैक एंड फील्ड एंड बैडमिंटन इनफैक्ट आई प्लेड बैडमिंटन एट अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल अंडर फिफ्टीन टीम में एंड सो उधर मुझे uh, ऐसा लगा कि द ट्रेनिंग अराउंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन एक्सेट्रा वॉज वेरी गुड दे आर सम हाउ प्रिंसिपल हु यूज टू प्ले बैडमिंटन विद मी लाइट मी सो ही पुस्ट मी एंड ही एक्चुअली मूवड मी इन अ नाइन्थ ग्रेड टू द गर्ल्स सेक्शन फॉर अ बेटर अकेडमिक परफॉर्मेंस फॉर मी वाओ सो बिकॉज इट वॉज अ को एड स्कूल बट द गर्ल्स विल हैव अ सेपरेट सेक्शन गर्ल्स विल हैव अ सेपरेट सेक्शन सो ही पिकड अप फॉर प्रोमिसिंग स्टूडेंट्स who probably can earn some name for uh, for the school were moved to a girl section with the ladkiyon ke sath padho baith ke we used to be very very nervous ye kaise matlab do ladkon ke sath puri ladkiyon ke class mein bitha diya 
Do you didn't you say कि मैं नहीं जा रहा मेरे सारे दोस्त यहाँ हैं? I think we had no choice. So we all four used to be very very nervous. Other boys obviously will make all type of fun. In ninth में you don't want to be around girls. If it's college, everybody will say sir भेजो. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल. So so we we were the we were the like uh, everyone will make fun of us, right? And uh, so they so you know that is I think was my first academic push in a hindsight. And uh, so then I did I did reasonably well there. I think I kind of outperformed, let's say, the peer group. So वहाँ पर ठीक ठाक हुआ. Then my father again got transferred back to Karnal, and there I started. Uh, I went to a college which is also there in Delhi, also the Alsing College. Uh, so I went there. I next five years I studied there. So from my eleventh until my so I did BCom. Mm-hmm. अब तक क्या सोच रहे थे आप लाइफ में सी नाउ योर यूनिकॉन फॉर दोज डोंट नो यूनिकॉन इज कंपनी हुज वैल्यू इज अकॉर्डिंग टू सम पीपल हु आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन इट इज मोर देन वन बिलियन डॉलर्स व्हिच इज आज के रेट अगर देखें तो एट थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी करोड़ बिकॉज टूडे इट्स एटी थ्री पॉइंट टू एंड यू आर मोर देन वन बिलियन इट्स नॉट जस्ट वॉट वॉज द पब्लिकली अवेलेबल ड्रूम वॉज वैल्यूड वन पॉइंट टू बिलियन तो टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ गाइज एंड अभी तक ये लड़का काल का करनाल में ही चक्कर काटे जा रहा है तो ये कहाँ से कैसे हो गया ये अभी मैं आगे बढ़ रहे हैं बट लाइक सीरियसली लाइक एट दैट्स स्टेज वन यू डूइंग बी कॉम एंड ऑल वॉट डिड यू वॉन्ट बी मैंने बड़ी मुश्किल से बी कॉम खत्म की तो उसके बाद एंड सो माई ब्रदर वॉज वे हैड ऑफ इस टाइम तो उसने ही वॉज वेरी सक्सेसफुल तो देन आई ज्वाइन हिम मैं मैंने चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी में एनरोल कर लिया and my mama ji always used to tell my mother that you know tumhara ye ladka jo hai ye sabse alag hai unhone bola nahi tum mujhe usko bombay bhej do so then i come to bombay aur wo mujhe wahan par ek kisi mba vera ki entrance exam ke liye wo ek ims karke ek it was a leading mba preparation center to wo mujhe wahan par bhejte hain ab inki classes chalti hain st xavier college near vt station in mumbai What what was was hard? What was so difficult that you survive in such an environment? Because uh, Chetan Mahapar, sare, all the all the people who were preparing, they went to the same Sydenham College or Saint Xavier and all the top colleges. They were pedigree, you know, they they spoke perfect English, uh, from their demeanor to the body language to their grip on what they want to do. They were. I I thought I was like one generation behind. Mm-hmm. So it was it was quite an effort for me. so i thought this is like this is going to be this is going to be very uh, tormenting mm-hmm. so i went back to chandigarh and there i found a place like ims but chandigarh version of some who prepared for the entrance exam to so, main wahan gaya that is you know that is when you know the person who ran that facility he made a huge impact on me so he actually literally saw the very raw potential in me and he used to like say that you know you come for your class but you can stay whole day here only and then he'll sometime go with you know for a walk with me he'll give me some small small test to help me increase my critical thinking logical reasoning and aptitude and reading comprehension he kind of pushed me a lot uh, and i think that that really was a turning point for me in general if i look back even today so then one teacher uh, the one teacher one teacher changed your life What's his name? Would you like to say anything about him? His name is Sandeep Man, and uh, you know he ran uh, Chandigarh's that time number one entrance exam preparation center called Ekadhi Ke Niketan. Uh, I'm in, still in touch with him, and uh, so so you know he literally next one half year, uh, while there was no tangible evidence for me to exhibit my progress, but I knew that academically, cerebrally, I'm I'm growing. Then uh, you know I I wrote lot of uh, entrance exams, uh, CAT for Gujarat. So, बिल्कुल clear नहीं हुआ. But I was the in that center alone. I kind of emerged. I I knew that I was probably not if not in the top five percent, maybe in the top twenty five percent. And there were probably hundred fifty people studied. So then I made it to Indore uh, for the uh, for my master's program. So I took a apartment and then I spent next two years there. So. there uh, there you know uh, it was a first time next two years i experienced first time what does it take to be in the top 10% rather than the bottom, bottom what is the difference and i want ki aap batao unko jo padhai mein shayad hain abhi maybe even if not bottom 10 they are in the 
bottom 50 percent like or their average average 50th percentile 60th percentile 70th percentile if they want to become in the top 10 percentile how is it possible firstly ki, or is it destined ki tum nalai, kehte hai, india mein galat baat hai, but just 60th 70th percentile ho, tum kabhi upar aai nahi sakte ya fir agar aa sakte hai, aur aa sakte hai, kaise aa sakte hai? see uh, chetan honestly uh, this is a old cliche but when there's a will there's a way right i had a you know 70 percent marks in 10th which is not bad but i had like a 53 percent in my week home mm. right and uh, you know i like i never thought that i would be like you know at least earning a name for myself uh, for academic performance mm. right but but i think those 18 months in chandigarh just uh, you know created a just unstoppable awareness uh, in me and maybe the you know how some of the question you asked earlier ki kab laga ki kuch karna hai kya karna hai i think wo shayad late maybe i was a late bloomer so that kicked in that time so uske baad to then you know when i you know to jab indore ka crack hua to like you know all of a sudden the you know my peer groups behavior teachers access to anything i want to start a new club uh, you know ab- the people will pave the way yeah. and so jab wo ho gaya to then then you then you see the some benefit of your extra hard work to wo hua you know and also like you know so 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 it was like a, you know uh, like it was a fabulous next two years or usi time mein i met my now ex wife i met my spouse there where in in door uh, she was one year junior to me and we met there and uh, and shortly after that uh, after my graduation and her graduation uh, we got married so so it was like it was like and it was the first time i was properly away from home so you know i think that uh, the i think the self discovery and the self awareness uh, wo kafi jada matlab us time kafi jada upar gayi because you know so uh, so after, so during that time i worked with uh, kotak mahindra goldman sex joint venture for my internship here in mumbai and then they wanted after my graduation they wanted me to join them but then my brother said he was starting a uh, SEBI approved investment uh, merchant banking firm category 2 merchant banking firm and he said I have a very thriving CA practice to me CA nahi karna or CA type nahi karna but isko kar lo and ye, as it is Bombay maybe yehi karoge so that is what so after my graduation I went back again to Chandigarh and uh, started working on this to, to Chetan us time mein ye agar, uh, if now in a hindsight I would say that time until I went to US uh, after three and a half years I actually realized that I was, uh, I had uh, some knack on newer things. I had a natural knack how to tame a newer trend or how to identify a newer trend. Mm. So, us time in India, mein IT services, a lot of people wanted to open their development center. Uh, today it is nickel and dime. Mm. But that time it was very novelty. So, I was able to impress multiple large software companies that why to open a development center in India, what is the cost advantage, how you can transfer back your work. Then Reserve Bank of India announced uh, that they will uh, 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 they will give license to a ba- small bank which will be operational in three contiguous districts. I submitted single-handedly. I submitted highest number of applications for that. And at the age of you know 24, 25, I'm having meeting with the very senior officers at Reserve Bank of India, etc. So, ऐसे करके काफी अच्छा काम किया. During that time, I had one assignment with an assignment with uh, Credit Swiss Bank and with an Asian Development Bank. Ke when I worked with them, I got, you know, this was still, India was still opening up. This is, I'm talking about 97, 98, 99. So I got very fascinated when I met someone who came from US. Like their demeanor, their style, their way of working. Also, I did not want to be, you know, in India still the government interference, arguably, some level of you know corruption and you know it's on your faces every day i somehow found that my personality was not to deal with that so then i somehow uh, developed more and more comfort the idea of actually uh, going to us mm. so then i uh, you know i uh, uh, that time my cousin was writing a gmat exam so he told me that why don't you do the same thing so he told me at a time when i was a little late for that year but still I ended up writing a GMAT exam and I got accepted at, uh, you know, Washington University in St. Louis. It was among the top uh, 12 or 15 MBA programs in the world. So I accepted that. And then in 99, during the peak of dot-com boom, I moved to US in St. Louis. 
this is just uh, south of Chicago. Yeah. And so, so I spent, uh, you know, next two years there. It was extremely fascinating because... Uh, uh, so you did Dubara se degree? Haan, 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 bilkul, I, yes. Double MBA. Yes. You did it. Yes. So, and you were okay with it. Yes. I was, I was, I... You was Jana US. Uh, yes, Jana and I, I thought that, uh, you know, uh, this one, you know, uh, like can really help me to establish there because I did, most of the people during that time will go to US with a computer science degree. Mm-hmm. And I did not want to, I was, I, I always liked business and strategy. So, so, so I took, I got this MBA. Uh, admission I went there jo meri puri saving thi yahan par usse mujhe ek saal ka uh, it was a very expensive private school to usse ek saal ka like I had a visibility to one year baaki main ka will figure out on the way so I went there US was going through the first dot com boom hmm. so you know it was very fascinating and as it is as I mentioned mujhe naye trends vera ka bada fascination tha and I, I thought I was able to capture them identify them capture them make some meaningful sense out of them so वहाँ पर dot com का चल रहा है internet का चल रहा है this is a time जब वहाँ पर academy में internet को नहीं पढ़ाया जाता था and still people academicians were still uh, guessing whether it is here to stay or it's a fad so so uh, so I you know I was there very soon I realized कि मैं तो बहुत गलत time में business school में हूँ I should be in Silicon Valley building a company rather than in a business school spending money ये आपको पता लग गया था हाँ मुझे वो बिल्कुल लग गया था पता so I knew that this is a very famous, he is a very famous author as, uh, and a philosopher, Guy Kawasaki. Mm-hmm. So he used to run a program called Garage.com, a uh, business plan competition. Mm-hmm. So you, you submit your, uh, you know, now we have Shark Tank, you have a lot of things, but that time it was that. So you submit your business plan and if he likes, he, he will put $100,000. So I, I, I created a team of three other guys in my school. And we submitted uh, the, uh, our plan. We went all the way until final, but we did not win it. What was plan? Tha? Uh, actually, that plan was, it was called Your Roots. Your Roots, like YouTube. Your, your Roots. And it was basically bringing uh, spirituality to you. As an immigrant, I thought, uh, I'm away from my spiritual needs. Mm-hmm. And I thought globally, there are hundreds of million immigrants. So can we harness the power of internet to bring spirituality to you? So, so that was actually, in fact, uh, it was a fairly good plan. So I did that. So that, you know, like it really gave me a lot of confidence that, you know, like, yes, these things are possible because India did not have that culture at all. Then what happened, I heard that there's a, uh, so now I, we have to look for summer internship. I came to know that there's a, uh, there's a career fair in San Francisco where, you know, you go, you may find your uh, dream internship. Then I go to this career fair. And I'm like a kid in a candy land. There's like all the startups you can imagine, Silicon Valley style, which I never experienced before. But I had some exposure while doing my MBA. So there I met uh, a company. Uh, it was funded by Sabir Bhatia, who was the first ever B2C Hotmail, Hotmail guy. Okay. Yes. Those guys uh, met me at the career fair. That time Silicon Valley clearly had a shortage of people. And they immediately, we got along very well. And they told me to come to their office next day. I went to the next day to their office. And mm-hmm. par unhone bola ki, forget about internship. Why don't you just join us now? Mm-hmm. I said, no, I'm going to complete my education, but I can join you in May. Mm-hmm. This was December. So they said, sure. So then I, I, you know, I had this job offer and I came, uh, I, you know, I came back. Uh, then what happened, the college, uh, college had a couple of more um, a company is coming, so I apply, applied for an internship to this company called Charles Schwab. Mm. Charles Schwab is actually the world's largest online stock, stock brokering firm. Mm. In fact, their market cap is Goldman Sachs, bhi jada. it's 100 billion. The owner is among the probably 20 richest people on earth. Uh, his name is also Charles Schwab, the company is named after him. So they also actually ended up giving me uh, the internship offer. Mm. So, and Chetan, I was a poor Indian student. I remember, I didn't get a ticket for 620 so what I did, I actually said yes to both companies. I said I'll do internship with both because Charles Schwab was a little late. And then I thought if I feel good in this startup, I'll continue there. Otherwise, I'll go to Schwab. So I worked with for, uh, I worked like 18 hours per day with that startup. They loved me. Like I spent mm-hmm. half of my per day time with the CEO. And I contributed a lot in helping them building strategy and all. And I thought I was good at it. 
Then I told them that I want to go to, after one month, I told them I want to go and work with Schwab. They actually doubled my, <clears throat> I was getting paid very decent money for that time, but they doubled it. But then uh, I still thought that, you know, look, these guys like me so much that they are not going anywhere. I'm my immigrant. If I don't have a visa, if I don't have money, I'll have to go back to India. So I ended up joining Schwab. I thought that, you know, the, I, at this stage of life, rather than only making money, I need to build option value. So, and in hindsight, it was brilliant, uh, Chetan. So, I have a very structured, defined internship in Schwab. Mein. And I was able to meet Ch uh, you know, Chuck Schwab, the legendary founder and all. And then, to my surprise, after my internship, there were 60 interns from Harvard, Stanford, Water, and every top school. They made offer to seven people to come back and join full time, and I was one of the seven. So now, you know, like I thought that, you know, like uh, I can go back to that startup and I go back to Schwab. So I came back second year, sir, then we had a lot of work, 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 we had a lot of So second year, I had a lot of work, 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 and then basically, I had a lot of work, Immediately after the Labor Day weekend in September 2001, I start my first time full-time job in San Francisco. One week later, 9-11 happens. Mm. So I worked there for next uh, four years. And uh, because I was part of the Chuck Schwab's curated leadership program, mm. like very similar to GE has a leadership program. So for six, six months, for three, six, six months, I was deployed in various groups. And these were the like a fabulous exposure I got. Fabulous exposure I got. But when it came to coming to the full time after the six months rotation, the market was still bad. And wherever I would have accepted a job, those people's PNL would have looked less attractive because then they had to sponsor my headcount. Mm. So there was a fight who will absorb me. But it was very clear that, you know, this is he's one of the seven guys which, who Chuck Schwab himself picked up. And we had to make sure this program is successful and look at Sandeep's, uh, you know, recommendation from all the managers he worked. So I was able to find a good job. I worked there. And uh, my spouse started MBA in the same university one year later. So she again became my junior in US. Wow. So then what happened, uh, Chetan, she graduated. I was still graduating when dot-com boom and bust was mix was happening. But she graduated, which arguably in the last 25 years, probably the worst time to get out of the business school. Mm -hmm. So she actually went pillar to post, but could not find any job in Silicon Valley, where I have been living for a year. Mm -hmm. And through some alumni relationship, she found one job in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Economy was so bad, and I used to tell her, that when I was in Schwab, there were 25,000 people in the internship, when I joined, there were 15,000 people, now there were 9,000 people, so there was no doubt that my job would be not there. So you have to get a job in the office, or if you have to go to the office, you have to go to the office. So she ended up taking a job in Seattle. So we had a long distance. And one, every week she'll go to come to San Francisco, I'll go to Seattle. So we, we did that. And then uh, one day, like, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we got pregnant and uh, she was going to deliver the baby. So she came back, she took a, like a maternity leave, came back to San Francisco, now delivered, uh, you know, uh, my son, who is now 20 year old, uh, studies in uh, LA. Uh, so after three months, uh, the, the, her employer started calling that, you know, are you coming back? Or should we replace? I mean, we've been waiting for a long time. So she told me that, you know, why should I look for a job in San Francisco? Why don't you look for a job in Seattle? Mm -hmm. So I said, if I get a job in Microsoft, then I will take a job. Otherwise, I, I will never leave Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. But for Microsoft, I will go. So that day alone, like she pushed me hard. So I applied for a couple of jobs. And you did go to Microsoft? Yes. <laughs> so, yes. That's why. I actually uh, uh, applied a couple of jobs. And, and Chetan, there was one job which I like it was came to me like a dream job. To, I applied that night to my, to my surprise. Next day, I got a call. I could tell it's from Seattle. And it was a recruiter for Microsoft. And they also li liked my profile for the same job. And then they immediately, two days later, they flew me to Seattle. I went there. They said, we have two three days. Two three days, we have two three days. But they didn't have two three days because there was a Christmas rush. And then they ended up uh, giving me a job. So then basically, I moved to Seattle in uh, early 2004. And uh, my first week at job, my boss comes and tells me that, Sandeep, uh, please be ready. You may get 
a call from Bill's office. I said, Bill's means Bill Gates. He said, yes. I said, Joe, uh, you must be j joking. Right? He said, no, this group feeds into Bill and Steve Barmer, who was a previous CEO, his office. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then next, I was there for next uh, uh, 18 months. And a uh, lot of time, my job fed into Bill Gates, Steve Barmer, and other top people. So, ye Kalka ka ladka ya Karnal ka ya usse pehle kaun sa gaon apna Gula ka ladka Bill Gates tak pahunch gaya Haan. so it was like it was fabulous for me uh, uh, Chetan so I work there now my son is 3 month old so next 15 18 months he's also now almost 2 year old so my work my ex wife worked with uh, Nordstrom which is one of the uh, old uh, retailer and I worked with Microsoft, lived the American dream. I bought a house, which I still own for the last 20 years, next to Microsoft campus on the lake. Mm -hmm. My son went to a daycare. But you know how in daycare, every baby, they have to go through the 150 different bugs. And so every week, he'll, he'll develop a new bug, catch from others, kid. So he used to be sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife, ex-wife and I used to go through a lot of roller coaster ride. And one day, she had an emotional outburst. And she said, if I have my way, I would never like to work and I'll just raise him. And before that, I always thought that she was a very ambitious and would always like to work. So the moment I heard that, I said, you know, let me see what I can do. This is very different than what I previously thought. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? I had a friend from San Francisco. His brother-in-law worked as a hedge fund manager in New York. He called me. He said, Sandeep, my brother-in-law is coming to Microsoft. Uh, like he's coming to Seattle. Can you give him a Microsoft tour campus, etc.? He's a technology investor. Mm -hmm. I said, sure. So he comes uh, to meet me. I take him to a Microsoft museum. I, I used to get Microsoft Office for 80% discount and I had an annual quote. I could buy that for anyone. So he wanted to buy Microsoft Office uh, copy. I bought that from him. And then, but then when he came back to my office, he said, Sandeep, I have closely seen what kind of work you do. Have you ever considered working on Wall Street? I said, no. He said, this can be very rewarding. You are a very Wall Street type of guy, mm -hmm. right? And look at you, you're working with Steve, jo uh, St uh, sorry, Steve Barmer, you're working with Bill Gates, you're working with uh, uh, Kevin Johnson. By the way, Kevin Johnson is a CEO of Starbucks now globally, right? So, so you know, and you know the kind of number you're crunching, you do, I've seen how you talk. You will be very successful in uh, Wall Street. And I said, how much it will pay me? And the amount he mentioned was more than what my wife, ex-wife and I made together. So to me, that was very attractive. Mm -hmm. And you know, and then, and, and Chetan, that time, Microsoft environment was, that if you Microsoft, you will retire from here. It was a military job. It was like a army cantonment. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you go to a restaurant, three people are shake, shaking hand, waving hand because they know you. You go to a dry cleaner, you run into a boss. Right? It was like cantonment. Every, like 100,000 people work for Microsoft. So, uh, so, you know, so I, Somehow that attracted me a lot. So I said, Vic, why don't you, his name was Vic Mehta. I said, Vic, why don't you connect me to some of these people? So he made certain introductions. Uh, and then I started, I had one more friend, Rahil Siddiqui. He was also from New Delhi, working on a Wall Street. So he also made some introductions. So I got two, three offers to join as a software analyst covering like Microsoft Oracle two jobs as a hardware analyst covering like Apple or Blackberry or HP or Dell. And then I got one job to be joining as an internet uh, internet analyst. And uh, so I called Vic. I said, I have these six jobs. I'm thinking of joining the hardware software. He said, something what's wrong with you? Internet is a new thing. Hmm. I said, but I never worked in the internet. He said, what are you talking? What was Schwab.com? What is that dot com? Hmm. And he said, Microsoft is as technology company as it can get. And then he made me, he gave a one statement, Chetan, I think it was a, like a very motherhood statement for me. He said, Sandeep, internet will grow two to three times faster than the GDP, global GDP. Make sure, once you get in, make sure you don't die hmm. and you will never look back. And somehow the way he presented it to me, it looked like a very... <laughs> like, but he was right. Very, very vivid, yes. It's still true. Yes. It's still true. So, uh, so, so I worked there. Uh, uh, now, this job, uh, you know, I don't know how many people know this, but if you are working on Wall Street, but out of Silicon Valley, there's a three hour difference between San Francisco and New York. Mm -hmm. And stock market open at 9am. 
So as an analyst, you have to be at office at 4.30 a.m., which will be 7.30 New York, and one half hour before the stock market opens, so that you can share your ideas, which stock to buy, which stock to sell, what is your, what is your research says. So I used to wake up at 3.30 in the morning to be in office at 4.30. Wow, every day? Every day. I did that for next eight years. Eight years, you woke up at 3.30 in the morning? Yes. So How is that? What is it like to wake up so early? It was it was brutal. It was in the in the first after two months, I had a, such a bad cervical attack that I had to go through a, a like a like a from a deep tissue massage to Swedish massage to every possible uh, treatment. How did shop close start then? So so then here is something. So I'm Wall Street analyst. Uh, you know, uh, build my so earlier part of this franchisee, which was verse number one, then became my then then joined our firm. Like you know how in a movie movie there's always a director. And then nobody knows executive director, etc. So earlier I was executive director, but then I became my main director. And I was ranked among the top three best internet analysts in the world. And I'm covering companies, uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, uh, Amazon, etc. What happens, uh, Chetan, in August 2010, make my trip from India, goes public, and decided to list itself on Nasdaq. Hmm. Now I'm covering very large companies like... Uh, Google or Amazon, Yahoo, and uh, my, my trip is very tiny. But I thought I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brown person on Wall Street, right? And uh, this is 2010, internet is 16 year old, but in, the world has dismissed India for internet, right? It's China or USA. But here's a company which is going to NASDAQ, let me see what's going on. So I decided to launch the research coverage on Make My Trip, and unlike just publishing a simple report and financial model, I decided that I come to India and let me see what's going on ground. So at that time, there was only one unicorn thi in Mobi Naveen, by Naveen Tiwari. And Flipkart was the biggest e-commerce company, but it was only speculation that it became a billion dollar or not. And the word unicorn was not coming to anyone. So because I was a Wall Street analyst, tha, I used to come on CNBC, Fox News, on TV every day. So I uh, like I had access to a lot of people. So I came here. Five Sanjeev Bikichandani and Nokri.com, Deep Car Ride, Make My Trip, uh, Pearl Upal at Fashion and You, Sequoia ki team. I five VC or five startups. Itni hi log the bas. Un sab se mila. Then I wrote a report, uh, which I called it Has India Internet Arrived? And this report, in my mind, was very similar to how Mary Meeker wrote the first ever internet reports in 1994 to 1998. Mm -hmm. And I was, as a student, I used to adore her. She was like a god. So I got an opportunity to write that for my home country. I wrote that report. And then on my way back from Delhi to San Francisco, I thought, if I truly believe in what I wrote, then I should be creating an underlying asset rather than just writing a research report. Mm -hmm. And I and somehow I reached to a stage, uh, Chetan, where I thought the regret of not doing shop clues will be bigger than anything I give up. So, so mujhe ki ehsaas hua ki Walmart of India will not be an offline company, it will be an online company. And that online company will be a marketplace, not an inventory-led model. And us time India me 100% e-commerce company inventory-led thi. So with shop clues, I opened India's first ever marketplace independent of category. Theoretically, Swiggy and Zomato is also marketplace. Right? Ola and Uber are also marketplace. For guys, in koi marketplace ka concept nahi samajata, it's very simple to understand. Jaise Karolbag ek market hai. Karolbag itself uh, saman nahi rakhta hai. Karolbag mein dukane hai, jaan log apna apna saman bejte hai. To internet pe bhi jaise Amazon, agar aap sab se bada example hai aaj, wo marketplace hai, kuch apni bhi selling karta hai. Lekin mostly wahan pe sellers aate hai, jo jinka Amazon se koi lena dena nahi hai, wo wahan pe apna maal bejte hai, aur aap jake kharite hai. Jaise mele mein, mangal bazaar lagta hai. India is basically a marketplace and India is the same system and on the internet if you set up that system then it is very useful. The inventory based model that Sandeep is telling you is that you take your money and keep it and keep it. Of course, you have to buy the money first, you have to buy the working capital, you have to buy the money. But if you can set up a marketplace then it just is nothing like it. Absolutely. So Chetan, I thought that if you leave India with mobile phone and TV etc. If you look at all categories टेल बहुत लंबी है जैसे अगर आप यूएसए में मेन शर्ट ही ले लीजिए एलन सॉली एरो थॉमस पिंक एंड ऑल दस ब्रांड में अकाउंट फॉर 50 परसेंट ऑफ मार्केट शेयर ऑफ द शर्ट मार्केट बनाना रिपब्लिक गैप एक्सेट्रा इन इंडिया 
द टॉप टेन शर्ट ब्रांड मे नॉट अकाउंट फॉर इवन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द मार्केट शेयर तो यहाँ पर मार्केट बहुत ज़्यादा फ्रेगमेंटेड एंड अनऑर्गनाइज थी तो उस केस में इन्वेंट्री लेड मॉडल बनाना और भी मुश्किल है तो हमने मार्केट प्लेस को चालू किया फिर मैंने देखा इंडिया में थर्टी मिलियन एस एम ई से जो कि उस टाइम में दुनिया में आफ्टर चाइना सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट नंबर था और उसमें से हाफ ऑफ दैम मतलब फिफ्टीन मिलियन करीब डेढ़ करोड़ पीपल सोल्ड समथिंग फॉर लिविंग एंड उन सब में एक चीज़ कई कुछ चीज़ें कॉमन थी दे डि नॉट हैव डी पॉकेट्स दे डि नॉट नो इंग्लिश दे डि नॉट नो टेक्नोलॉजी दे डि नॉट नो मार्केटिंग बट वो एक प्रोडक्ट को आपसे और मेरे से बढ़िया सोर्स कर सकते थे तो मुझे लगा कि इफ इंडिया गोज थ्रू दिस ऑर्गेनाइज रिटेल रेवोल्यूशन ये पंद्रह मिलियन लोग क्या करेंगे तो वाई डोंट आई ओपन अ प्लेटफॉर्म जो इनको एम्पावर करता है तो बिट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बिट ऑफ मार्केटिंग बिट ऑफ इंग्लिश हमने उनके लिए की मीन्स वो प्लेटफॉर्म ने सब वो कर दिया एंड वी वर द थर्टी फिफ्थ एंट्रेंड इन टू इंडियन ई कॉमर्स एंड विद इन नाइन मंथ चेतन वी बिकेम द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट येस और शॉप क्लोज ग्रो इट बिकेम अनिकॉन एंड दिस टॉक दिस थिंक कुड एंडेड राइट हेयर क्योंकि देखो भाई हैप्पी एंडिंग हो गई लेकिन पिक्चर अभी बाकी है मेरे दोस्त बिकॉज यू रिमेंबर गाइज जो अपने शुरू किया था देर वॉज अ जेल वो अभी तक नहीं आया स्टोरी में अफकोर्स इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कि एक गांव का लड़का कैसे लॉन्ग टेल समझने लग गया लाइफ में आगे जाके जो टायर ट्रक के टायर की ट्यूब के साथ तालाब में कूदता था लेकिन कहते हैं ना लाइफ में होता सोचते कुछ हो होता कौन है एंड आई थिंक यू फेस्ट इट मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स एंड देन केम दैट ड्रेडिड डे टेल मी अबाउट दैट ड्रेडिड डे वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग यू आर रनिंग शॉप क्लूज टॉप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एवरीथिंग इज ग्रोइंग ग्रोइंग सब सपने पूरे हो गए कमाल हो गया जी एक इक्विटी एनालिस्ट बैंकर से मतलब खोल दिया फिर एंड यू हैड कम बैक टू इंडिया फॉर शॉप क्लूज आई केम टू इंडिया बैक विद फर्स्ट टाइम इन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स विद सिंग वन वे टिकट इन ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नो लाइक आई लाइक आई लाइक आई सेंसि आई यूज टू कम हेयर देन गो बैक जस्ट के बैक एंड योर वाइफ वॉज ओके विद इट एक्चुअली यू नो माई माई वाइफ डिड सपोर्ट शी ऑलवेज सो दैट दिस गाई हैड अ एंथरप्रनोरल अर्ज एवर सिंस ही वेंट टू बिजनेस स्कूल और वॉल स्ट्रीट में आई हैड मल्टीपल वेरी गुड ईयर्स सो हैड मेड यू नो डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी सो शी सेड कि वी हैव टू किड्स वी हैव डिसेंट सेविंग इवन इफ यू फंबल एंड फेल इट्स नॉट लाइक वी हैव टू रीस्टार्ट ऑल ओवर अगेन एंड दिस इज अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी वाई डोंट यू यू ऑलवेज हैड दिस डिज़ायर वाई डोंट यू टेक अ यू नो यू नो वाई डोंट यू जम्प इन टू दिस दिस सो सो आई केम विद माई Uh, ex-wife and my both uh, kids that time uh, to India in August 2011. Chetan, so marketplace. Me na just to agar me agar just agar ek time ye loon ki. So I a very famous VC. Actually, I was raising 1.4 million from two people. And then a very famous Wall Street, uh, sorry, very famous Silicon Valley VC met me. and he knew my background he had seen me on tv he has read my research report usko shop plus ka idea bahut acha laga to bolta hai yaar ye idea to bahut acha hai ya aap ye 1.4 million kyon le rahe ho aap 5 million lo achhi company banate hain aur usne fir mujhe term sheet di jab usne term sheet di to usne bola term sheet from me is similar to getting admission letter from Admi- uh, harvard university congratulations you have arrived aur 2 mahine baad usne wo term sheet wapas le li kyunki usko kahin se pata chala कि अमेजोन इवेंचुअली इंडिया में लॉन्च करने वाली है तो हार्वर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी का जो एडमिशन था वो चले गया उसके बाद अगले उसके बाद मैंने 1.95 मिलियन डॉलर रेज किया अपने फ्रेंड से मतलब एंड तो वहाँ इंडिया आया एनी हाउ कमिंग बैक टू दैट कैन यू टेल हु दैट वी सी वॉज यू रादर नॉट आई मीन देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन जस्ट एट समाइन टॉक्स विद एम इट वॉज क्लाइनर परकिन सो दैट इज अ वेरी फेमस वन यू नो यू नो सिकोया एंड क्लाइनर परकिन लाइक Huh. Is it still that big? It's no, I think Kleiner Perkins in my view last ten years. Uh, We haven't heard the name so much. Team and yes, uh, yes. Sunthaniya. Uh, anyway, anyway, keep going. This is the same company which funded Amazon or Google or Apple and and yeah, Tom Perkins was. Uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, now what happens? Uh, you know, I had my own share of ups and downs, but directionally we did. We like Shoplus was a rocket launcher. We were growing parallel to Y axis, growing very rapidly. Chetan, as a entrepreneur, I was never fully satisfied. I wanted to do more, but it was of this is July two thousand thirteen. Now I am very first time I am genuinely satisfied that looks like this company has arrived, and it's a matter of time we will go IPO. Ah, so ye pehle pehli baar realization ho rahi thi dil se matlab. To us to main I used to have my green card. सो so, हर छः महीने में एक बार यू एस ए जाना होता था सो माई एक्स वाइफ एंड बहुत बॉयज़ दे लेफ्ट अर्ली 
एंड आई सेड आप चले जाओ मैं दो हफ्ते बाद ज्वाइन करता हूँ सो so, दो हफ्ते बाद जुलाई 2013 थाउजेंड थर्टीन आई गो टू यू एस नाव वी आर मीटिंग ऑल ऑफ अर फ्रेंड समन इज़ वाइटिंग फॉर लंच डिनर वी वेंट टू नापा वैली फॉर वाइन कंट्री वाइन टेस्टिंग टुक माई सन टू स्मॉलर वन हैड नॉट सीन डिजनी लैंड एंड यू नो यूनिवर्सल स्टूडियो सो टुक हिम ऑल ऑल दैट स्टैंडर्ड थिंग्स एंड देन वन डे आई एम नाउ स्टेइंग विद माई एक्स वाइफ कजन इन सैनोजे कैलिफोर्निया एंड वी गो टू चीज केक फैक्ट्री एंड वी आर कमिंग बैक टू हिज होम ही इज़ ड्राइविंग आई एम सिटिंग इन हिज ऑडी इन द फ्रंट सीट माई एक्स वाइफ एंड किड्स आर सिटिंग इन द बैक सीट नाउ दिस इज़ वेयर द मूवी स्टार्ट सो I see his house. He presses a button to garage door is opening, and he takes the car inside. The moment he takes the car inside, thirteen FBI cars surround our car so that we cannot run. There are lot of agents getting down from these thirteen cars, maybe two to three per car. They all are wearing a black color jacket which says FBI in white color. They many of them have a walkie-talkie, many of them have a gun in their hand, and they come and knock my door and says, and I draw the window down. and they say who is sandeep agarwal i said i am sandeep agarwal he said mr agarwal we have a arrest warrant for you i said for what they said when you worked on wall street 5 years back you gave insider trading information to steven a, f- a portfolio manager who worked at steven a cohan steven a cohan was one of the most high profile hedge funds of the world and there is arrest warrant from a judge in new york and this is a indict indictment so i was indicted and chetan they came deliberately at 4:30 so that i don't have time to go to uh, court to take a bail what was going through your head no i was like i was just i was like i was i was just stunned i i think my brain was not working ha uh-huh. and they now in a hindsight of course i can now add all the context they deli- they came at 4:30 they deliberately arrested me in front of my wife and kids they saw the kids saw see they were crying they were crying and usually even for curtsy they don't do that even for a blue collar crime this was a white cl- white collar crime allegation then they remove actually laces from my shoes thinking that i may strangulate them and then they handcuff me put me in the back seat of one of the car exactly how you know uh, pushing my face down so anyhow now they take me out i and i i i mean this is silicon valley this was my home for 15 years i know every street i know every road so they take me to roughly one half hour drive outskirt the other the north of san francisco san jose south of san francisco to dead ghanta mujhe leke ja rahe hain i have a handcuff my hands are behind and the handcuff is really hurting my hand i tell them that can you adjust it they they pay no hoot then they take me to this place near chevron oil refinery in north of san francisco aur wahan par bilkul picture ki tarah they press one button one door opens car goes inside it is still the next door is open a uh, closed so then car goes inside that the, this door closed then the next door opens so that and then they take me inside then they take me inside there are there's a doctor waiting for me he's che- checking my temperature my blood pressure taking all that you know what's your marital status what is your age do you have any allergies do you have any like diabetes or blood pressure or anything right and then they put me to uh, to a cell so this cell has roughly 30 35 people already in it this is a single cell and they uh, they right and uh, and uh, and chetan this was exactly a scene from jail in narcos right like all these people you could tell they had a highest amount of tattoos many of them are visibly smell of smelling of strong drug or alcohol uh, right and you know it was like really you don't want to be with those people and they all were there and uh, you know so i am now they, i'm i'm now sitting there right then i see a phone uh, a public phone i thought i'll call my uh, uh, wife so i dialed her number uh, it was a collect call so she had to accept the call and then it, her credit card will be charged so i call her and she saying hello hello and and uh, Ch- chetan by then i'm like i'm completely like i can't i could not speak i could hear her i could not speak even a single word and and i just hang up the phone and i burst into tear when i burst into that tear i realize the more i do this way all these 32 people they are not going to spare me right and i had seen enough of hollywood movie to realize that you know so i had to contain that also 
there's only one toilet without a door it's smelling like horrible and uh, i had to like use the toilet so i use the toilet i come back and sit there uh, after a few sometime they bring uh, an apple and a small uh, you know tuna tuna sa- or, or, sorry turkey sandwich which i don't i'm i'm not in no condition to eat it then i just sit there whole night 5 am the same agents come and they take me in their car to san francisco next to the uh, to a federal court but next to the federal court is fbi's san francisco office so, so they first take me there and now what you see in the movie the mug shot you know how there was a very famous thing like donald trump recently no. said don't take my trump uh, uh, you know mug shot so they took my mug shot like me holding a placard and in a side pause front my biometric my blood sampling all of that they did then they took me to the federal court there i see my ex wife and she looks like 10 year older she looks like blood like bloody eyes like as if she just aged overnight she saw me she's crying and she says sandeep we are finished shortly after you got arrested preet bharara tweeted about you you are on the front page of wall street journal new york times the la times the tribune everywhere that you are arrested and yes, you did yes. Huh. yes so we are finished we are all over the or all over the place right uh, right i've been getting non stop calls from the investors in uh, shop cruise investors from india too and then parallelly i'm hearing the department of justice and fbi agents are telling judge that your honor please put him in jail he says what crime so they explain the crime he said this this does is he a threat to society he says no but then 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 they said then i'm not going to put him in jail he says but your honor he lives in india he's a flight risk so he says judge says who has a passport they said your honor passport is with us so just says done i'm going to grant him a bail so he grant me a bail then they make a request that can we move this case to southern district of new york so so this is uh, this was a whole uh, ordeal meanwhile aapki ek shop close naam ki badi successful startup india mein chal rahi hai yes. sir bol rahe hain sir us gaye hain green card ke chakkar mein abhi wapas aa rahe honge yes. unke kya haal ho rahe the so you know like look uh, <laughs> chetan aap ye maan ke chaliye ki 48 hours mein aisa lag raha tha ki jaise like literally everything collapsed from a collateral damage to the reputation to existential risk matlab even though you got the bail and all but like naam kharab hua is so ye to abhi to abhi to bail hi hua tha case thodi khatam hai to nahi to bahut it was you know so next uh, next 18 months were the most testing times of my life you had to stay in the us and shop close khatam hone pe aaya shop close ka us time mein hamara next round ki baat hi chal rahi thi wo to obviously bhag gaye honge sare to wo to sab bhag gaye उसके बाद अगले तो मैं क्या करता था चेतन रात को जब सैनफेस को में रात होती थी उस टाइम इंडिया में दिन होता था तो तब मैं शॉप लूज चलाता था और जब वहाँ पर दिन होता था तब मैं बड़ी मतलब रेगुलेटर से मीटिंग करता था बड़ी स्ट्रेसफुल मीटिंग तो मतलब मेरा अठारह उन्नीस घंटे हर रोज़ ये चलता था बड़ा ही स्ट्रेसफुल आई लिटरली एक्सपीरियंस चेंजेज इन माई बॉडी आई यू स्टॉप हैविंग एनी ड्रीम्स आई आई यूज टू बी वेरी पैरानॉइड मैं सड़क पर जा रहा हूँ अगर कोई कॉप भी आ रहा है तो मुझे लग रहा था ये मुझे उठाएगा तो इट वॉज़ वेरी वेरी टफ Uh, and th- kya tha ki chetan i was the i was the main founder of the company i was face to the company i was what bill gates was to microsoft or mark zuckerberg to facebook i was very uh, i had a very bright people around me but they never were involved in strategy building vision or investors uh, and uh, i expo- i i called my investor they said they they also did not realize that how severe it this could be they said sandeep don't worry you know you know we gave the money for you we are there to support you don't worry all this was happening but then chetan we went to new york to see what is what is it, what is in store for us and i met 11 law firms these are the as good as the law firm human being has created and everyone knew about my case already in advance and sabne mujhe bola ki mr agarwal you sound like a nice person but at a wrong time at a wrong place preet bhadhara whose department went after you has a 100% connection rate और अगर आपने उनको मतलब उनके साथ कॉपरेट नहीं किया है जो भी है तो यू विल एंड अप स्पेंडिंग डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ योर लाइफ इन जेल सो मैं काफ़ी लाइक इलेवन लॉ फर्म्स आई मेट आई रिमेंबर करीब करीब रात लास्ट मीटिंग 12 बजे तक रात को चली होगी तब मैं वापस आ रहा था आई वॉज स्टेइंग विद अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड इन अपर अपर ईस्ट साइड इन मैनहटन 
तो तब जब हम निकल रहे थे तब मैंने और मेरी एक्स वाइफ ने एक दूसरे को देखा और हमें लगा कि डज नॉट मैटर वट वी डू कोई ना कोई सेक्रीफाइस है यू हैव टू सेक्रीफाइस योर हैंड और लेग और समथिंग मतलब इसके बिना इससे निकल नहीं सकते सो दैट रियलाइजेशन इट वेरी हार्ड एंड कपल ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स वर ऑलरेडी वेटिंग कि संदीप आकर बताएगा मे बी सम गुड न्यूज़ बट वी हैड लकली लाइक अनलकली वी हैड नो नो गुड न्यूज़ सो नेक्स्ट डे वी हायर्ड वन ऑफ द लॉ फॉर्म जिसको जिस जो हम जो हमने उसको पसंद किया दे दे प्रिटिंग दे सेट दैट यू नो इफ यू हैव टेन टू ट्वेंटी मिलियन डॉलर्स एंड एबिलिटी टू स्टे फॉर थ्री ईयर्स यू कैन फाइट एंड इफ यू विन यू विल गेट योर प्राइड बैक बट इफ यू लूज यू विल बी मैंटली इमोशनली एंड मॉनिटरली बैंक क्राफ्ट and please bharara has a 100% conviction rate of winning so it was pretty much i had no option so i said you know you you guide me so he said uh, let me speak to the regulator so he spoke to the red regulators and then he finally made he he suggested me that you plead guilty for the insider trading charges against you and they are willing to do a cooperating witness act, uh, you become a cooperating witness and there's a plea bargain for you plea bargain means while judge will decide your sentencing but because of your cooperation it is possible you may avoid jail time so that became our strategy and we pursued that so next 15 months mai uh, uh, usme tha uh, shop clues bilkul from almost appearing to be a billion dollar company uh, like fall quite hard so mera pehla ye tha ki rain or shine shop clues ko uh, apne mukam tak pahunchana hai to aakhir ke to humne kafi mehnat ki aur may 2014 mein we were able to raise sizable round from ronnie screw wala और उससे पहले तीन महीने से कंपनी क्रेडिट कार्ड पे चल रही थी और बिल्कुल और क्या था कि मेरे सो माय एक्स वाइफ एंड वन मोर टीम मेंबर आई गेव द यू नो आई गेव द चार्ज फॉर देम टू रन द कंपनी नाउ दे हैड जीरो एक्सपीरियंस इन रेजिंग कैपिटल सो मैं एक एक पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन के लिए 300 300 लाइन का आंसर बनाता था सो दैट आई कैन ट्रेन दैन बिकॉज ऑल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ माई प्लीडिंग गिल्टी आई कुड नॉट बी अवेलेबल इन द मीटिंग इन फैक्ट कंपनी had a now reason to keep me away from the you know because it was my personal case but it could have a shadow on the company to bahut bahut matlab bilkul sab kuch khatam ho gaya tha but somehow may 2000 maine matlab sirf single single almost with the obsession i made sure ki the company does not go belly up because of money lack of money so wo hamara round hua uh, jaise hi wo round hua until then i used to sleep thinking about shop clues i used to wake up thinking about shop clues i used to dream about shop clues but jaise wo round hua so it, it felt like as if if you if you you know school buses are off my chest <laughs> and that is when and by then it was became very clear chetan because i pled guilty for a white collar criminal charges main shop clues wapas nahi ja paunga aur main usa mein tha ye bhi nahi pata tha main india ka baunga wapas so tab jaise round hua tab mera ek apne liye maine ek wo rakha hua tha ki i will now i will start thinking what i should do next so 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 next 5 months i was uh, in usa aur tab maine uh, doom ka i came up with the doom ka idea and uh, luckily the first two investors who supported me in shop clues actually did support me to my surprise because i thought i was untouchable now mm. but they supported me uh, uh, with the uh, with doom in such a difficult time also you were able to say what will be my next company so so uh, chetan actually it was not that simple uh, from july 2013 until april 2014 my mother and my ex wife actually thought i would maybe even commit suicide i was that vulnerable mm-hmm. and in hindsight i feel that they were perhaps not wrong that idea would have occurred to me several times really because it was like you know because see i felt that other than getting killed accidentally in a road accident or a doctor telling you that you have leukemia and 3 months left i thought what what was happening to me was a third worst mm. i'm alive but my uh, my all the wings have been chopped my 15 years of hard work and and rigor has gone to the dumps reputation damage family suffering no money this you know it was really bad time i used to sometime walk 12 kilometers to save 20 dollars for a taxi i sometime used to buy a 7 dollar meal एंड मैं लंच में आधा खाता था कि आधा डिनर में खा लेंगे क्योंकि इससे ज़्यादा पैसे नहीं होते थे सम टाइम वो डिनर के टाइम तक खराब भी हो जाता था सो आई हेड सीन लाइक लिटरली लाइक यू नो टुडे व्हेन यू हैव अ टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ वैल्यूशन पीपल से अरे यूनिकॉन हो गया टेन थाउजेंड एंड यू सीन दोज टाइम्स वैन यू डेंट है फाइव डॉलर वट इज मनी मीन टू यू आज 
Yeah, see, look, uh, 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 you know, uh, Chetan, I think uh, maybe those experiences actually made me more grounded. Mm-hmm. I don't think I was ever like a flamboyant or, or, or you know, show-off guy. I was always uh, like, you know, especially after going to, uh, starting my MBA in USA and until now, now, you know, I was much more cerebral driven. I was academically curious, etc. But I think after these incidents, you know, uh, uh, money, uh, the value of money actually did not go up in my mind. Actually, it has gone down. What has gone up is building of a character, mm-hmm. integrity and relationship. I had my own struggle and journey. But, you know, today I can sit here, speak with you. But, you know, there were a lot of my friends who did not abandon me. And, you know, at a time when I was probably vulnerable for suicide too, right? I had a friend who lived in a 1200 square feet house in Upper East Side with a 13 year old daughter who's like has a complete teen teen behavior. And he gave me her room. He said, there's no way I can let you stay in a hotel in New York like this. normally in fact, in the interview, I asked you to ask me, ask me what you What makes you so free to talk about it? Like, it's not like, even though most unicorn founders say, I'm talking about Droom, Droom, Droom is doing this, Droom campaign, Droom this, that and that. And you're like, the darkest phase of your life, you're so freely talking about it. See, the thing is, uh, Chetan, I think one thing I understood is, if I'm not freely talking about it, I think that in Droom, I can tell you a lot of challenges, but if I'm looking at the glass half full, dekhun, so I was still able to raise 130 million in seven round of capital with the likes of Lightbox, B Next, and Toyota Motors, right? So easily because uh, you know, because I understood one thing that that legal case and whatever happened does not define Sandeep Agarwal fully. It is only one dimension. What happened to that case finally? Chetan, finally, what happened? You know, uh, so they actually. Uh, after seven years, government of US dismissed and dropped all charges against me as if they never occurred. So no fine, no jail time, no felony. No guilty verdict, no nothing. Guilty verdict. No, I was never... Con- what happened to Preet Bharara? Uh, Preet Bharara was serving during the... He, 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 uh, he was a very, very, very high profile district attorney. He served until Obama was a president. When Trump came, uh, he, he was removed. And but uh, but what happened? Uh, uh, what happened? Um, I was you know like when I was allowed to come back to India, my sentencing date was set for six months late. So I came back here in August 2014, and they told me that your sentencing date is January 2015. And you are here because you are in your family in India. You are here for 15 months. You come back and you come back one month sentencing se pehle aajana. Then I came here, which was very rare. They would not typically allow this. Mm. Because if I then run away, then the, the regulators look very... I'm fugitive, but regulators also look very weak. Mm. So I came here, but the, there were a couple of conditions. There's a $2 million uh, bail, bail. A friend of mine actually uh, put his house wow. in government record. You have good friends, huh? Yes. yes, I mean... What's his name? You should uh, acknowledge this. Uh, Ayushman Hazarika. Mm-hmm. He and I went to business school. He's from As- Guwahati Assam. Uh, he lives in New, New Jersey. In fact, spoke to him last night. So he was like, these people were goat sang. That's why I'm saying that, you know, I realized that, you know, your it's biggest... more than even family. Yeah. It is, yes, absolutely. And, you know, so he actually went to... Uh, he went to Southern District of New York clerk office where the bail packages are created. And he, mod- he put his house... So if I don't come back, basically, from India, his house is gone. Uh-huh. That's right. So, so he did that. Then they told me that I must call one FBI agent every week, one week, and tell him that I'm still alive, I'm not in any other law trouble, etc., etc. And then I had to send one email to the pre-trial officer every 15 days. Hmm. So with that conditions, they actually let me come back here. Now, four or five months pass by, I hear from my attorney that my case has been delayed by six months. So sentencing date instead of January is now in July of 2015. And then what happens, uh, Chetan, Agle Che Saltak, every six months they kept on delaying my sentencing date. And then one day I got a call from my attorney in New York 
that that the government feels the जो as per government allegation मैंने किसी को information दी वो insider insider trading किया उसने but government that guy came to know actually it was never insider trading so if it was not insider trading for him I was one degree apart from him so it was not insider trading for me so the government actually dismissed and dropped all charges against me and against him but the damage is done damage was uh, was colossal it was like a very colo colossal damage you know of course it is hard it is only my conjecture but i feel uh, you know shop clues could have been a 10 15 billion dollar company but that had to go we were way, way ahead of its time you know because see and i held the company until it reached billion dollar but then i started having trouble in my marriage so i decided that i'm going to just focus on room and i helped this company as much as i could but you know within 3 years after i literally uh, never thought about that company somehow the what happened in the marriage what is your read of course there are two versions so i know yeah, yeah. chetan there is there is always a two version uh, you know uh, my my take is my take is that uh, my legal case and you heard you you landed your ear to me heard it very patiently uh, my take is that uh, it was not a trauma only for me it was also trauma for my ex wife it was trauma for my kids it was trauma for my parents right and when you come out of trauma either you are same person or you are different i don't think you or i will ever know the right answer but my best guess is she come out of the trauma as a different person because when i came back after 18 months while we were married for 18 years we dated for 3 years it did not feel like the same people in uh, under the same roof it was not a very harmonious and conge- congenial environment uh and uh, and you know uh, uh i actually uh, you know when i was dealing with fbi and department of justice i used to think that that is how emotionally the perhaps the most painful part of my life mm-hmm. but i think the more painful emotionally more painful part was actually when i came here next two years until i got separated you know so the divorce was even harder than the whole fbi case it was yeah i was i uh, chetan i was very deeply vested right i mean i was 22 when i had met my ex wife we dated for 3 years we got married we went to all countries together we took kids fully grown kids uh, and 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 at a time although i can never i don't want to underestimate the pain and suffering my case caused to her but when i came back from usa my situation was no different than an army personnel coming back from border after losing a hand or a leg i had a completely zero confidence ptsd post traumatic stress disorder like i was like you know i would i would go for a walk where i live and i used to think that people are laughing at me they are noticing me right my kids had their own share of uh, uh, a lot of incidents in their school right so i was actually i was very vulnerable i was very very vulnerable and i had to literally uh, you know but you know thing is uh, i had to really literally reestablish myself so but you know all that thing in a hindsight i actually converted all those uncertainties into the pool of energy which gave me much larger uh, i would say strength to build room so i like uh, you know i said my calling my i'm in a big cud and i can only get out of it because the, there's nothing succeeds like success so so then basically uh you know and then because i had already caused lot of trouble to everyone who loved me or around me so for two years lot of time i would go and live in a hotels for 3 3 months but my parents uh, other yeah, right my, none of them they they no one had any idea you know i thought today will be about room but actually we talked about something far more important about your the toughest phases of your life of course room is a success story and maybe that of course is an interesting conversation by itself and the whole strategy he used car market but you know this yaar ye jo life ka real test hote hain jab duniya mein tumhare pe itne ilzam lag rahe hain ya tumhari shaadi toot rahi hai tumhara ghar toot raha hai i think that that is crazy and when you feel like did you feel guilty that impact it's having on your kids Yeah yeah absolutely I feel I feel I carry that guilt even today I can even like I can literally articulate how a broken marriage 
actually the highest collateral damage is paid by the kids and they did not sign up for that yes right. but you have shared custody now i heard you stay next to your near your coach x y yes i uh, yes you know yaar dekh abhi bahut se young young log ye dekh rahe hain jo hum log ne to thode bade ho gaye hum to hai na we are you are how old are you yeah i'm i'm about 50 i'm also about 50 i'm 49 so jo younger lot of my audience is younger wo log ye dekh rahe hain देख रहे हैं हम अंकल ही हैं एक दो बातें कर रहे हैं और शायद उन्होंने जब ये पॉडकास्ट खोला होगा सोचेगा देखिए यार दस हज़ार करोड़ की कंपनी वाला कैसे होता है इसके पास फिरारी है लैम्बो गिनी होगी और मतलब यू नो लाइक टिपिकली इंस्टाग्राम पे वो अमीर लोग दिखाते हैं एंड दे गॉट टू हेयर दिस एंड देर मस्ट बी थिंकिंग वॉट एडवाइस एंड एंड ऑल्सो योर फर्स्ट पार्ट गाँव का स्कूल है वो वॉट एडवाइस अगर ये तुम्हारे छोटे भाई हैं सारे जो देख रहे हैं छोटी बहनें हैं जैसे ऑल दिस पीपल वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग इन लाइफ वट एवर यूव लिव्ड क्वाइट अ फ्रिकिंग लाइफ मैन यू लिव थ्री फोर लाइफ इन वन क्या बोलो क्या फंडे आई वोट से वन थिंग और टू थिंग और थ्री थिंग दो चार बातें जितनी भी आपको लाइक टॉप थ्री थिंग्स में भी चलो वॉट वुड यू से आई थिंक आई थिंक चेतन सबसे पहली बात मैं ये बोलूँगा कि यू नो द मोमेंट ह्यूमन बींग इज बॉर्न ही इज एक्सपोज टू लव डेथ डिजीज लिगैलिटी सो इफ एनी ऑफ दो थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग टू यू वेलकम टू लाइफ राइट तो ये थोड़ा जब खुद पर बीतती है तो उसकी इंटेंसिटी बहुत ज़्यादा होती है तब समझ आता है इन साइडर ट्रेडिंग के केसेस भी मैंने बहुत सुने थे डिवोर्स भी मैंने बहुत सुने थे पर जब खुद पे भी थी तब पता चला कि ये कितना है तो सबसे पहली चीज़ जो मैं बोलूँगा जब ऐसी चीज़ हो देन द वर्स्ट थिंग ह्यूमन बींग कैन डू एंड आई हैव स्टेट देयर बॉर्डर लाइन इज बींग इन अ सेल्फ पिटी फेस वाई मी राइट जब जब मैं अरेस्ट हुआ और अगले अठारह महीने में इनका वाई मी इनफैक्ट मेरी मदर बोल भी रही थी कि क्यों यू एस ए जा रहा है इधर ही रहे राइट तो लाइक यू नो सो सो यू नो लाइक और राइट और जब मेरा वैन आई एम गोइंग थ्रू अ फेल्ड मैरिज वाई मी बट यू नो इन बोथ ऑफ दो सिचुएशन आई वॉज एबल टू कम आउट वैन आई वॉज कैटेगोरिकली आई वॉज एबल टू टेल माई सेल्फ दैट डोंट बी इन सेल्फ इट राइट सो यू नो दो सो आई थिंक वन इज ड्रेन और शाइन यू शुड नेवर बी इन अ सेल्फ पिटी बिकॉज इट इज अ स्लिपरी स्लो सेकेंड इज आई थिंक होप एंड ह्यूमन स्पिरिट are the only thing which makes us different from any other hum- any other animal species on the face of this planet right so main aapko bata raha hu matlab i used to like i used to like for 7 months i stayed with my wife's ex wife's cousin i stayed with my sister but one day in march 2014 i woke up i was sick and tired ki main usa se kab wapas jaunga ye jaane denge ya nahi to mujhe laga ki you know uh jaise wo hindi picture ka gaana hai mujhe chhod do mere haal pe zinda hai kafi hai तो मैंने कहा मुझे मतलब उस दिन आई आई वॉज एट माई सिस्टर हाउस मैंने कहा मैं जा रहा हूँ एक जिम को ज्वाइन करने और तुम मुझे बड़ा प्यार करती हो पर मैं एक अपना अपार्टमेंट लेकर रहूँगा कहती अभी तो एक महीने बाद शायद तुम्हें वापस जाने दे मैंने कहा पर मैं सात महीने से इंतजार कर रहा हूँ तो चेतन मैं उस दिन निकला उस दिन तीनों चीज़ें लाइ लाइन थी ना नो सेल्फ पी टी होप ऑफ अ ब्राइटर फ्यूचर एंड ह्यूमन स्पिरिट हाई और ये था तेरह मार्च दो और फोर्टीन अप्रैल 2014 थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इज आई वॉज एबल टू क्रिएट ड्रूम तो मेरा सबसे बड़ा यही चीज़ है कि नेवर बी इन अ सेल्फ इटी स्टेज बिकॉज इट कैन बी वेरी एडिक्टिव बट इट इज इट इज इट इज मेकिंग यू लेस रेलिवेंट फॉर द वर्ल्ड कीप योर ह्यूमन स्पिरिट ऑलवेज हाई एंड होप इज अ सिंगल बिगेस्ट थिंग विच कैन मेक यू यू नो विच विच कैन यू नो विच कैन मेक यू मूव and then i would say as you as you already established that they may be calling us uncle uh, i think that as you get older one of the biggest thing i have learned is one of your biggest possession is relationship so my advice to all the your audience is that invest for long lasting relationships you know i had to go, the, the the my pain i could not share my pain with someone else even the someone who loved me the most but everyone came to mitigate my pain in the manner they could and that all happened because of the relationship yeah guys very different lessons today but these are the this is real life man aur yahi real life hai and i i want to thank you ki aapne itni how was this experience for you no lovely uh, chetan you you are so comforting you 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 probe in a way it it feels like a more of a conversation it's not probing it's, it's just i i actually am learning and uh, i'll also uh, remember what we spoke today and doston ye hai duniya कभी भी रास्ता सीधा नहीं होगा कभी भी गाड़ी सीधी नहीं चलेगी चाहे गाड़ी का भी बिजनेस हो right.
ऊपर नीचे खाइयाँ भी आएंगी सब कुछ आएगा एंड यू हैव टू कीप द होप यू हैव टू कीप द स्पिरिट एंड सेल्फ पिटी अपने ऊपर यू नो सॉरी हिंदी में से वो क्या बोले रंडी रोना नहीं करना है <laughs> वो करोगे ना तो से कुछ नहीं होगा संदीप अग्रवाल थैंक यू सो मच आई नो यू आई कम स्पेशली फ्रॉम डेली टू डू दिस यू हैव अ फ्लाइट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच